Hello Aquarians and Cross Watchers, welcome to your afternoon quickie tarot video. Alright, this is designed to be under 20 minutes, so I try to keep it that way. Um, but I want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, uh, for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you beautiful souls. So let's see what wants to come out here today. What messages need to come out? Keep in mind, it's a general reading. Also keep in mind that roles can be reversed if you're cross-watching. Show me what I need to see here. Anything else? Thank you. Oh, wow. On the bottom of the deck, it says abundance, okay? Um, you could be seeing ones or threes, okay? Or fours, because one and three is four. Very abundant. And we do have a... Um, we actually do have Friday the 13th coming up here um, as I do this reading. And it is very, actually, an is auspicious time. Okay, so don't think of it as bad luck. It's actually a good time to get lucky, okay, in love or in money. Okay, Venus, <laughs> Venus is very prevalent, all right, in the skies. So show me here... Uh, Yes, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Self-Love. We have 41. Like I said, you could be seeing um, ones, fours, threes, and we have forgiveness, which here's two, and then three again, which makes five. Somebody may want forgiveness, and it, you know, I do see the sun and the moon, and that is Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, and we have the heart here. So there may be somebody, and again, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, there may be somebody who wants forgiveness from you, okay, or vice versa. It goes both ways. Let's see who wants to come out here in the tarot. I do see Child of Cups and Ace of Worlds, and that could be somebody coming in with a sincere apology or a sincere conversation about you and them and love okay wow might get lucky on that uh friday the 13th you could let's see who wants to come out here and this reading 13 is a lucky number and we have the star here that is your aquarian energy if you're an aquarian watching Most of us have a little bit of everything in our chart. Give me nine cards. Is that nine cards? My goodness. Okay. All right. You're, there's definitely some change coming. We have positive change with the Six of Crystals. Six of Crystals talks about moving on. It's like the Six of Swords. Okay. The Six of Swords moves on to better times. All right. Calmer waters. Uh, from a tower literally here. All right. I see how you're showing it to me spirit You're showing it to me From uh, left to right instead of top to bottom. Yes. All right, so I see what we're doing here So I'll be clarifying these these cards a little bit differently today spirit is giving it to me as past present future And one more card Of course we can never just do one more right not on this channel we can't do things by the book. That's so unAquarian. <laughs> all right, but Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning. So I guess these are all just bonus cards. This came out over here, the Sun in reverse. So that okay, whatever you're going to have happiness. That's what is in the past here. Whatever this is, it talks about moving on from a tower. Okay, from a very hard time or hard ending, something that led to a lot of you know unhappiness. Okay. Um, and it might have even caused somebody to be in sort of a, you know, an energy of like, I just want to get out of this energy already. Like, I, I, nobody wants to be in that tower energy. Of course, that's, that, that's the past energy. But now I do have here these bonus cards. Oh, all right. We, we have, we do have a lining, but somebody may also have um i have i have somebody 
I have a third energy anyway. There's a third energy, but I'm getting it. I'm I'm getting a different kind of vibe with that third energy, like more of um, an extra third person that's always around. But I'm I don't know if it's necessarily in a relationship. Let's let's clarify now. Tell me about that six of crystals because these cards came out extra. The, this whole thing is there's a new beginning, something's changing, and I feel like what's changing is there's a third party that has been possibly hindering, um, hindering something. Yes. Okay, a higher connection. So this makes me feel like when somebody is a third influence, um, you know, like a naysayer, uh, overbearing uh, person, parent, uh, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, something like this. Tell me about the Six of Crystals. Because this is a side note. So this means this is not going to be relevant anymore, whatever this was that was interfering. Yes. Okay. There is, okay, there's a person who wants forgiveness from you. There's a person who wants to connect with you or vice versa. But there was a third energy involved. There was a third energy that says, no, that person's, uh, stay away from that person. Or that person's not for you. Or I don't think you're doing the right thing to align with that person. That's the third energy right here. And justice reverse. And the six of ones reverse. It's saying, don't go toward that person. All right, don't, don't. So that is interesting to me that we're on point with this. This is showing up as past energy. So if this is um, the past, it could be the recent past where somebody's like, hey, butt out of my life. <laughs> Let me make my own decisions here. And, it, you know, it, it, we have the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. So it could be like um, somebody who is acting like the other person's parent. Okay. It could literally be a parent, but it could be somebody who is a spouse, a girlfriend, a friend who is like acting like, Hey, I got your back. I know it's best for you. But meanwhile, it's actually hindering something between you and them. And this is what it's going to be. It's going to be you and them. So ultimately I do like that that energy is leaving. Don't know how it's leaving. Maybe it's just not leaving. Maybe it's just saying, Hey, but out of my life, if you want to, you know, you can be in my life, but don't be controlling my life. Let's see what else wants to come out here. That's what's changing anyway. Yeah, we have the emperor here, and I told you this was strong. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And if you're already with your your person, and there's a third party energy butting in, you know, like an in-law, that's changing. Somebody's going to speak up here. All right, someone's going to speak up on your behalf or you're going to speak up on somebody's behalf, even if it's not an in-law, even if it's like a child who's not accepting somebody in a new situation or in a situation that's come in or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. I can sit here and say third person, but I, it's not, I'm not feeling that the third person is a lover. You know how sometimes the third party energy is like somebody's leaving a lover to get with another lover. I feel like it's more of somebody who says, no, don't go toward Aquarius. That's not your person or vice versa. Don't go if someone's telling Aquarius, no, that's not your person. You know, whatever. Whoever that naysayer is, is out. We have Divine Masculine here, though. It seems to be on Divine Masculine side. Whoever's in Yang energy can be male or female. doesn't matter about gender. But whoever is in the Yang energy is about ready to make some sort of move here with that chess piece. And it's going to be a major change agent in, in between you and them. But if, you know, somebody wants forgiveness, this could have been, this masculine could have listened to that naysayer and regrets it, wants to change that, and then just does change that, tells that other energy, stop giving me your advice, stop butting into my life. And I think I've even channeled that in another reading, um, possibly last week, because I, I feel like I have anyways. To save time, I'm going to go ahead and call out the signs because this is a quickie reading. So right now I have Libra, um, Aries, Scorpio. Tell me about the Sage of Worlds. That's Cap. Excuse me. That's uh, Virgo. Tell me about that. 
and it could be a Virgo who wants to do this but either way it's taken a long time because this is a card that takes a long time for this wish fulfillment to happen this could have been something that you wanted to happen between you and another person and it just literally didn't because there was another energy talking against it and this person must have a lot of respect for the other person because they listened um, for whoever that's for tell me about the tower that's crumbling down because number one nobody is supposed to tell us how to live our life so anyone that we listen to or they listen to that's not a stable foundation even though this could be legitimately coming from a stable person in their life that advice or them listening to them or choosing their choices because of what this person says that's not the right way to do it so there's a tower going to happen because we're all supposed to make our own choices um from love not always from logic or from listening to another person so that's got to be broken down here tell me about the tower so this person and that person could have had some sort of words um we have pisces energy here and we have the ten of swords and it could have been a very hard conversation okay even an ending for some people and this is like you know queen of wands reverse it could have been some sort of karmic lesson doesn't mean the person was karmic in their life but definitely this is a lesson where somebody just sort of had to say look this is my life um don't get into it and then boom they have accomplished something major in their life by doing this seven of crystals this person sabotaged their own love whoever this is this is love when i see cups it's love it's literally water energy cancer scorpio pisces but it's love all right um if i'm doing an aquarian reading and i see somebody in love i don't want to see swords i want to see love so this is a person who sabotaged their own love life because another person was telling them what to do for some of them it was just it was just a mom saying don't do it and they didn't you know for some of them it was someone like i said acting like their mother or their parent or acting like they were uh, supposed to be in charge of them and it could have been you know it could have even been a person that they're with in a relationship with you know but they missed the their divine feminine they missed that person tell me about the five of one so here's a lot of energy here a lot of change that happens here in the future and literally somebody says i i just i just feel like somebody's saying you're you're too much into my life you're into every aspect okay you know more than i know here with this page of swords in reverse you know just just stop just let me live my life very simply <laughs> uh tell me about the sun the sun in reverse this was an extra card yeah somebody sits a lot with their thoughts and feelings about what truly makes them happy but before they can do that they have to get away from this other energy that's been distracting and it's like their thoughts have been more into this masculine's head than the masculine's thoughts so the masculine may literally have to get away like this person's on the ocean there's boats there this person might literally have to just get away be alone with their own thoughts and think tell me about the ten of crystals yeah so this is you know i feel like somebody's sort of weak without your love this has been hard on somebody somebody has not been able to be in your energy and has been very hard on them okay because it was hard that they had to release you and it's done something to them because this person and you i mean you you would have been good and strong together okay um strong leo energy strong sagittarius energy right there and uh cancer energy two of cups like you and this person are good together but this person is really um this person is having a really hard time that they let you go and a lot of why they let you go has to do with another person's opinion about you tell me about the universe which is aquarius scorpio leo and taurus energy it's a new cycle so somebody's been really thinking about this and really thinking about starting new with you and this person whoever it is has absolute clarity i feel about what needs to be done they have absolute clarity about what needs to be done and we have bam a brand new beginning so i have the world card next to the ace of ones there is going to be a new start because somebody has chosen 
somebody realizes the path they chose didn't lead them to any happiness so this is a person who's manifesting themselves back into your life and they're going to want forgiveness this person is showing up as a divine masculine temperance and it's also this person being guided we have archangel guidance here the one who blends energies blends the two worlds of do you know the world of duality the yin and the yang it is archangel uh, Michael for me but it's temperance it's Sagittarius as well so anyway guys you do have somebody coming in wanting forgiveness coming with probably an apology a very big uh, major heart to heart this person sabotaged their own love life because they were listening to another person and that is what's changing and a new cycle begins um, I do feel that um, everyone's different about how they do this but i do have the world here and i have the ace of wands and i do have angel, archangel guidance so you and this person may it may not be over between you whoever this person is okay because the angels would never guide the wrong person so if this is if this is anybody thinking i'm not letting anybody from the past they were abusive they did all these terrible things this is not your reading um, because this is an, an, an archangel heaven. Nobody's going to guide a bad person your way. Nobody's going to guide two people to have forgiveness if it's really, really bad. All right. They're not going to guide them together. So we have, wow, beautiful cards here. It says new moon in Aquarius open up to change. All right. Um, we had a full moon in Aquarius, and it says new moon in Libra, know you are loved. So we have Libra and Aquarius energy, but it says open up to change. So it's asking the other person to be open when this person comes in to talk and know that you are loved. And I do feel this is a person who's coming in to talk to you who does love you. Anyway, guys, um, I love you. I will see you in the next reading, and namaste, my friends.